Transformers Rendo Fall and Deluxe Class Blowpipe. Um, he was an exclusive to Walmart with um, the dark colored sideways and the two pack of the Super Tuner Throwdown. Um, I did, and it was $27. Um, I bought the set just for Blowpipe because next to the Landmine mold, which is Armor Hide, this so far, this has been this was my favorite mold of the 07 line. I don't know why, but I really got hooked on the mold once I bought the Salvage re Autobot repaint. And I honestly saw when I it, before I saw you know high quality pictures of this for, of this guy for the first time, I actually thought this would be a Decepticon because it looks all it looks kind of ident close to. Um, uh, dropkick, but Dropkick at the giant Decepticon symbol, like, forming right here. Dropkick is over, um, I, he's missing one of his legs, but, um, if I, I'll show an update if I find Dropkick, just to show you the comparison. Um, but what, what really showed me that this was a Generation 1, um, representation, look at the license plate. P1, P35, that spells pipes, P-I-P-E-S. So this is it, and his name is Blowpipe. So I guess they don't have the rights to pipes anymore, so they just called this guy Blowpipe, um, which I think this is a real nice uh, homage um, to the Generation 1 uh, pipes. So it uh, does roll pretty good. He's mostly he's, uh, blue with a little bit of silver. So transforming, what you want to do is lift that up. Is when you, when you unpeg this piece, the doors will come undone there. Well, if they want to untab, this one's a little weak. Um, then you want to fold your arms down like that. Detach them. Take the door pieces here. And then fold them up like that. Fold down the weapon. His hand weapon. Do the same thing on this one. And let me lift the camera a little bit. And set those off to the side. I'm gonna come down here and fold that down. And give him his chicken legs. Fold out the foot and see. Gotta give him his weird square boxy looking legs. There we go. Do the same thing there. And Get in there and fold out the foot. Then, um, one other thing that you, I should have done this first is take that out. And then flip that up. Reveals his head. Let's fix up that. I just like to, um, I normally have, these windows do, like, split down to give more of, like, a little bit of a chest. So I like to have them kind of like that. Either that or they're still all folded up, but I like to have them just a little bit. Um, then I like to actually form the arms together. Well, sometimes they don't work, so let me actually go ahead and do the back. Um, fold that up, like so. And then fold, fold the pieces in, like so. And then... Actually, after when we're done with the transformation, you can fiddle with the back pieces because uh, once you're done with the transformation, this is really the only good position that these are going to go into. So that's really a little... That's the only real downside I have this mold, other than the fact that the arms really some don't stay pegged sometimes very well. But, you know, when, they're, when they stay solid, they're solid. I think it might just be my blowpipe. But it's actually... Okay, now there's... Now, okay, of all times, they do not want to stay together. Now they do. Now they stay together. Okay, so I have absolutely only one problem with this mold, and that's the little extra kibble back here, which is actually can, which can actually be um, got which actually can be get, gotten rid of by like by doing this, by folding that up, and then you can make him make that, which that just looks kind of stupid, but you know, I'll just have it. I'm gonna have him down like I have him just for the sake of the review. <clears throat> Alright, so there you have um, Revenge of the Fallen, Walmart exclusive, Super Tune to throw down uh, Blowpipe. You can take the thing here and fold that out. It becomes his claw weapon. And you can peg it in to his, either hand. 
just like to just put it in one of them. Gives him a giant, giant ass weapon. Um, which he can grip and tear things. I don't know, but um, pretty cool. I do like how you know there's real no Autobot symbols for robot mode, but the two ones on the doors do really stand out. Um, he's mostly a dark blue in robot mode with some bland pieces down here and on his arms and stuff, and he's got silver on the face as well. Um, He's pretty cool. Articulation-wise, these are on ball joints, but they could rotate 360, but, you know, due to the transformation and all that, and due to the fact just how he forms, it's not that it doesn't happen. Um, can go can go up and down at the elbow. Um, the only thing on his hand that rotate that moves is his weapon, so. Um, the head can, in fact, rotate 360, and if you look back here, you can see half of his whole face is the... Um, it's very difficult to rotate 360, but half of his face is his light piping, which they ended up... Okay, no, they actually didn't. He's got a he's got a very pinkish-red uh, light piping. It looked like they had almost colored it and painted it. Um, so that's actually a plus. Um, legs can go forward and back, side to side, bend at, bend at well, three ways, technically. He bends two ways at the knee here and here. And then he bends down here at the foot. So pretty much three ways on the leg. So that's pretty nice. Um, I have... I don't have any... Uh, well, I only have one robot size comparison. That's a Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe. And that would be Soundwave, who's a relatively small deluxe. So you can see a blowpipe being even a Movie 1 deluxe is tall... Or, let me screw it down a little bit. There we go. Even being a Movie 1 deluxe is taller than Soundwave. So, but you can obviously tell how the design thing, the, how the design has evolved between the first movie and the second with like, you know, how they're focusing on some different points and because I could see them doing some different with like bits with the kibble up here for if they design that more recently, but you know, it doesn't matter. I still love this mold. Um, next, like I said earlier in the review, next to the landmine slash armor hide mold, um, uh, it's my favorite. So there you guys have it, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, uh, Walmart exclusive Super Tuner Throwdown, Blowpipe, who, who came with the dark variant of Sideways.